All right, guys. I'm going to do a walk through. What I'm doing now is real simple. I'm slowly but surely, surely wetting an area, preparing it for future growth. <clears throat> so there's clearly no weeds down here. You're dealing with really hard, barren ground, like so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just fill this up with water. Eventually when it loads. Cool. And in the meantime, I'm going to start taking this stuff down to the bottom. Yeah, we can start actually putting it up here. Like this. And then what we'll do is, every day we'll rake it out a little bit, but a little bit. So the chicks will start to get hold of it, so all the ducks more than likely, because they also like to forage. And we'll do the same in all the high places so up here. We'll put some and we'll rake it out once it's ready. We'll load it down the bottom there, compost for a while, turn into grow mass, and then sell it to you guys or put it into our grow beds for ourselves. Yeah, basically what I'm doing is I'm just ground layering. Because this has been pretty stuffed. It's been over, over raked for far too many years. In Africa, the guys love to just rake for some reason. They don't leave any leaves for natural biomes. I don't know if that's like a cultural thing or whatever, but it's trash. So now I'm turning around. I spoke to the gardener that's here. His name's Innocent. It's quite a surly character with no manners and he's quite full of pivot like he's he went in and moved my chickens he went and he moved the eggs but if he does it again well i've already told him now it doesn't, it's not acceptable to do this he needs to confirm with me first just like i confirm with the owner of the house you know and if you're watching this and you're interested in becoming part of grow space you need to do the same you need to show respect to all the people that are there right if those people aren't showing respect, you need to discipline them and quickly. Don't, don't give them chances. The first chance is the first discipline. If people understand the rules and they follow them, everything flows nicely and there's no fighting. some water plants and I'll pop that straight back in the water ducks love water plants and also loves they love to dig around and scratch and eat it so you want to be adding water plants to your water bodies when you can Yeah, it's going to look trash for some time but very soon it's going to start looking pretty amazing like there's some good algae in there now and those are water lilies you'll see the ducks will go crazy for this it needs to be natural for a duck these things are actually wild creatures at the end of the day Yes. 
some more water plants. Yeah, ducks are gonna love that. All from recycling. very fast process and each case is unique but the process is pretty much the same and this is how I get super healthy organic chickens right <laughs> Before you know it, there'll be none of this hard stuff to hurt the feet of the animals. There's no water literally for these animals. It's ridiculous, this gardener is an actual moron. I don't know if he's more interested in his own business ventures or what the story is, but he sure isn't interested correctly in his, in his animals. In fact, it's kind of cruel the way that you've been treating them here. This is how we make our grow mist. Grass clippings, horse manure, cocoa peat, algae, all super healthy organic stuff. I've been doing this for many years with my parentals at home. And it only struck me recently to start a business because I realized that not many people actually know how to be organic. People only know how to just go to the shop and buy. <laughs> 